Are we causing breast cancer with cancer screening in the name of prevention? Well, there's a new uh, screening tool that's called breast tomosynthesis. And because the study showed that it reduced recall rates and increased cancer detection more than the digital mammograms do, a hospital in Pennsylvania has been using this new technology on all of their breast cancer screening patients as a clinical trial. But what about the other side of this picture? that they didn't mention. So we're going to be talking about what tomosynthesis is, and we're going to compare that to digital mammograms. Okay, so what is tomosynthesis? It's a fancy name for a limited CT scan. We don't want to do CT scans on everybody because there's too much radiation. It would cause a lot of cancer. So what we do is a limited one, and, and in return for that, we get the improvements that you were talking about. Less people are going to have a a problem with being recalled because they can be more accurate in, in determining whether or not there's a breast cancer there. And that's a good thing. And so, and they also detect a few more breast cancers, but not as much as you'd think. And the way they present it in their article, they use percentages that make it look like it's a big deal. But what they don't do is look, show the actual numbers. And when you do that, it's not so impressive. In fact, it may be a real problem because there are problems uh, with the increased amount of radiation. So how does it compare with the mammogram? With the, with the digital mammogram. So what we're looking at here is, is a change that's pretty substantial in terms of percentages, but you're not really looking at numbers that are huge. You have to look at what happens when you're looking at how much benefit you get from digital mammograms and from tomosynthesis or any other test. And basically, we're going to find a few more cancers per thousand people that we study. Maybe in the range of, instead of four cancers per thousand, we'll find five cancers. And if we're looking at the benefit that we're going to get that, that has to do with uh, avoiding additional testing, it goes maybe about 15% better. So it's something to think about. Well, when would somebody recommend one of these tests over the digital mammogram? Well, they're trying to use this as a test that's, that's going to replace the digital mammogram. But here's the problem. We will cause, for a digital mammogram, for every thousand that are done, we're going to cause one cancer. And one person out of 9,000 that has a, a mammogram, a digital mammogram, will die from it. So it doesn't sound like a huge number. But how many lives do we actually save? And the number of lives that we save with, with the uh, digital mammograms is something like three or maybe four for 9,000 people. So we save four lives and we kill one person with cancer. That leaves us with a net gain of three, but the numbers aren't huge. And you give it to somebody else also. You, give them cancer. You, yeah, the one person gets cancer. So instead of saving uh, or saving four lives, you're actually saving three because you've killed one person and you've caused a lot of other people to have the mammogram and the tests that go with it and to be frightened by it and, and many people to be treated who didn't need to be treated. So it's almost like it's a wash. It's not quite a wash, but it's not the huge benefits that you'd think. So if you cause nine, ca nine cancers, okay, because you do 9,000 mammograms and you save one life, so now you've got eight more cancers that you're going to have to treat that won't die from it, but we'll have to go through that whole more thing. More money for screening. Well, I don't think doctors look at it that way, but that's true when you look at the business aspect of what this is. So how, how beneficial is it really? Not that much. <clears throat> well, that's really something. I, I, I think that the absence of reporting things and, is a very and not serious, giving the whole, dis, it's the very whole picture... Dishonest. That's like, that's, that's lying. Exactly. And it doesn't seem like they're being really honest about all this because they're so much wanting to have this, this tool work. Well, I mean, look at the conflicts of interest. The people that are making the tomosynthesis equipment definitely are going to try and select the best data they can. The doctors and researchers that are doing the research on it have an investment in it, and they too are going to try and present it in a way like they did in this article that shows percentages rather than real numbers that makes you think, this is really fantastic, we've got to do it.
but they don't include the negative side of it. And without knowing the negative side of it, you don't really know what the overall benefit is. So there's, there's fewer errors, but there's more deaths from doing it. Well, because there's twice as much radiation. Yes, and there's still a net gain that's good, but you're looking at a test that costs more money. So what I'm struggling with is why don't we use the test we already have that the works? The breast thermography, we keep talking about yes. that. I mean, it doesn't kill anybody. It's as accurate as a digital mammogram and probably as accurate as tomosynthesis as And better as well. than the digital mammogram when you're trying to detect uh, cancer in young women that have dense breasts. Yeah, you certainly do. Much better. And so that's why it should be used. And mind you, it's approved by the FDA, so we're not talking about something that's not an approved test. It's, it's just that it's not radiation, so the radiologists aren't interested well, in it. Well, it's not just that, but that's a point. I mean, they're invested in what they do. And you throw them something that's new that 25 years ago wasn't such a hot test because the, the technology ball. wasn't that good. Huh. They're disinterested in that. But it's time to wake up to the new breakthroughs that we have had in breast thermography and start looking at the data, of which there is a lot. So we should be opening up our, our minds to look at forward technologies that add to what we've already got. I'm not saying throw the mammogram out. I'm saying add all the tools you can to try and find how we're going to get a better result because we've got a better test. And that is what we, we should be thinking about more than thinking about trying to refine the mammogram and the radiology techniques that we have that cause cancer and cause cancer deaths.